Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. So, so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Hallelujah. Now, I've, I've been talking to you about how to understand and know the, the voice of God. You know, God who speaking to you, the word of God coming to you. Now, I, 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 to, to, on, on Monday, I talked about Logos and Rema. And I was explaining what Logos is. Logos speaks to you. or When Logos comes to you, it lets you know the character of God. And that's what Logos is. God talks about himself. So when God begins to exalt his name, when he begins to talk about himself, he is giving you Logos. And like I said on Monday, which is very important that I bring to your remembrance, Logos doesn't do the job. If you are looking for a change in your life, if you are looking for a miracle in your life, Logos doesn't bring about the change. Now, Logos will only make you discover. It will only make you encourage. It will only make you, um, it will bring you up to the place of truth. But when you come to the place of truth, what next? You should receive truth. Now, when God brings you to that point, what do you do? Maybe you're discouraged, you know, you don't know. You're, you're at a point like, you know what, I don't even know if this thing's going to happen. I don't even know if God's going to come through to me. Maybe you're sick in your body and you've been praying, praying, praying. You've gone for several healing meetings. You've not seen any change. And then you get to, in that, to that point where you're like, am I going to die like this? I don't know what's going to happen to me. And then the word of the Lord comes to you. And he begins to say, didn't I say that I'll put none of these diseases upon you that I put on the Egyptians? And that's, that's, that's what he said to Moses, to the children of Israel. See, now, he, he begins to tell you, didn't I say, didn't I say. Now, what's going on? He's giving you logos. It doesn't mean it will heal you immediately. <laughs> now, listen to this. When you begin to hear logos, what are you, how are you supposed to respond to it? Get out from the place of discouragement. Say, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. You are the healer. You are the great healer. I receive my healing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, you are saying that in response to the logos that is coming to you. But while you are doing that, you should expect Rema. Praise God. Now, what will Rema, how will Rema come? The same way logos comes. See, now, oh, I love this. You know, Romans tells us faith cometh by hearing. And hearing what? The word of God. See, now, you know, they will say to you, faith coming by hearing and hearing the word of God. So you must be hearing the word. You must be go to church to hear the word of God. Take your Bible. I mean, <laughs> listen, listen. Mm. It's simple. Faith comes when you hear the voice of God. That's what the meaning of that scripture. So if you don't hear the voice of God, faith hasn't come yet. You are still walking in the realm of hope. So why are you, why are you excited and praising God and thanking the Lord and, and getting excited in your spirit? Then the word of the Lord comes to you. And it can be as simple as get up from that sick bed. Get up and go out. Now that's Rema. Now, when you hear that, that word comes with power. It, 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 it infuses. Listen, when that word comes, don't do, ah, ah, I don't know if I can get up. I've been lying down for the past three months. I don't know if I can. Hey, when he says to you, get up. You know what to do? Get up. Just like Jesus met that man by the pool of Bethsaida. What did Jesus say to him? Get up. Carry your bag and go. Carry your bed and go. The man could have like, huh? Do you know how long I've been here? You know, Jesus asked him, do you want to get well? Now, Jesus was trying to introduce Logos to him. Because this is the healer talking to you. So he asked him, do you want to get well? And, oh, I don't know. I've been here for 38 years. You know, I, I, anytime I want to enter the water when the angel stares it, someone just jumps in first, you know, blah, 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 blah. And Jesus said, get up, carry your bed and go home. <laughs> Praise God. You know, that's what happens to some of us. Yeah, you remember the man at the beautiful gate also. You know, oh, I'm for the poor, I'm for the poor. And then Peter looked at him and says, silver and gold I don't have. But such as I have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up 
and war. Now, this was Peter communicating by the Spirit. And, and he just released Logos to that. He just, sorry, he just released Rema to that man. You see? Now, the man already was expected. He was expectant. He was expecting something from them. So there was a level of hope in his heart. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm sure he wasn't expecting healing. He was just expecting money. But you see, he, he was already expectant. Now, that's why Peter says, look on us. So he looked, the Bible says he looked expecting. And he says, silver and gold we don't have, but there's something we have. He didn't just say, silver and gold we don't have. We're not going to give you money. Okay. No, he says, silver and gold we don't have, but there is something we have that we are going to give you. Wow. What's going to be better than silver and gold? And then they said in the name of Jesus, rise up. And, and Peter didn't spare that man. He grabbed him and raised him up. And the man leaped and walked. Praise God. Now that's how the realm of God comes. It's direct. It just comes. It just hits your spirit. Get up. Call so so and so person now. That's Rema coming to you. Don't say, hey, but I called him yesterday. He didn't pick my call. We didn't even pick my call today. Hey, call him. Oh, go see so so and so person. That's Rema coming to you. Now, Rema is an instruction. And when you carry out that instruction, you see the miracle. It's as simple as that. Logos strengthens you. Logos brings you to the place of faith to receive Rema. But don't stop at Logos. Hallelujah. Praise God. God, are you getting these things? And listen, even as I'm sharing with you now, the Spirit of God is bringing you His Word into your heart, causing Logos to fill you. And as I say these things, you know, you're just beginning to have, but God is really great. But it's true. It's true. Yeah, God have told me before that He will never leave me nor forsake me. Yes! So, receive Rema now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. God bless you.